some of the most irritating and quite frankly irrelevant people in esports are the Reddit crowd. They're basically the, tw the Twitter reply guys of the forum world because there's a standard approach they take, which is the per terminally online posters. who They're only famous for posting on Reddit. That's the only place their name is known. They don't then parlay that and do something else and be creative. No, they're only known for being a name that has a bunch of upvotes and their account's gained a bunch of karma that's worth nothing. These people consistently pretend to be experts, pause as experts on things they actually factually do not know anything about and have no experience. In fact, their experience, because it's always snark on Reddit, like, oh, this person doesn't even know anything. Of course, they don't even... Their snark also always implies that actually it's like real authority figures and experts who know nothing, and it's just them that secretly know everything. And I can tell you right now, they're for real basing their knowledge off, like, common sense of, like, things in movies, or, like, well, I mean, he's obviously innocent, so in court, they'll find him. Like, they don't know anything about the legal system. So one of the areas you'll find that's so annoying about this is they will speak about esports business when referring to people like me and Richard Lewis, who have an insane wealth of experience within the business of esports and the people of esports, and know infinitely more than them. And even worse, they can't know what we know. So a classic one is, years ago, Richard Lewis pointed out that one of the ways in which Riot Games was way overstepping their bounds of being controlling and a bit creepy, was that they would demand you, like, signed NDAs to go and do basic things, like go to their offices. And all these morons on Reddit, as a consensus for years, used to say that people like Richard and Monty were wrong, and that actually that is completely standard practice for all corporations in America, and that's just the corporate world of America. Now, what's absurd about that premise is, as if Monty and Richard don't know what corporate culture in esports is like, as though they aren't the people going to these places and signing or not signing in the NDAs and with insane experience of other companies, other regions, other games, all within esports. Meanwhile, the person making that com comment has pivoted to some vague, as all they know all about corporate culture in America. They've made it just about corporate culture in America. Suddenly it's not even about esports, you know, the specialty of people like Richard Lewis and Monte Cristo. So spoiler, it was never, ever standard in esports to sign an NDA to go into someone's building. I can tell you right now, I've been in tons of teams buildings, org buildings. I've even been to Riot. I've never signed an NDA for that. I think the only things I've ever signed NDAs for was like testing out the betas of unreleased games or like maybe I think there was one within a company where they wanted to show me some project for consulting. That's it. It was never standard. So similarly, when people now go, that email that EG sent was just a standard corporate, you know, blowing smoke. No, that isn't at all. One, you don't know what the whole corporate world, what all corporate businesses in the entire of America, you know what their internal structures like. Dickhead guy on Reddit. I think not. And then secondly, who knows better out of me and you what it's actually like within esports businesses internally? You or me? It's me, isn't it? Because I was there. In fact, how do you know what the EG email says? Because I showed it to you. I got it. I have seen it. I have seen many corporate emails internally within esports. I can tell you that is not only not standard, it was insanely egregiously hyperbole being used. Yeah, you might sometimes cover up when someone's leaving because you like them or they were well like, oh, you don't want to admit doing wrong. To compare them to like Warren Buffett and Sean Connery and Ken Dryden, that's not even vaguely within the realms of normality. That is not what they're doing within Cloud9 and Team Liquid and TSM and Gen G and Navi when people leave and sit down. There's no context. So as usual, what did we actually accomplish out of this? Some idiots who are nobodies except on Reddit got to pretend they knew what they were talking about without ever having actually to prove it to argue and go against the grain of the people who, by definition, know the most and know things you not only don't know that they know, but cannot know that they know. And to assume they don't know anything and you're the expert, that's why you're a moron on Reddit. Back in the day on the ESEA forums, we used to joke that everyone who just posts there and is only famous there is just, they're just the most ultimate renaissance men of all time. They're like, they're pickup artists who only date pure dime piece tens. They don't want your super hot girlfriend or some famous actress because she's a nine with knobbly knees. They all make billions in the stock market, yet bizarrely you're just here on ESEA forums. They're all natural bodybuilders who know all the supplements and they're all able to do perfect form while your form's a bit crooked on that. You know what I mean? They're all just losers who had never accomplished anything. So they LARP on the internet as experts and geniuses. That's Reddit in a nutshell. And as a general rule, if the Reddit consensus goes in your favour, I would really question if you know what the fuck you're talking about. These guys are wrong religiously.